going mad, it's where you're going Everybody gonna know one day that you're gonna make it, yeah So keep going, one day the results will start showing Let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again, live and direct. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again. Listen, I got another powerful message for you. This message is part three in the series that I'm talking to you about, the four great disciplines of life. In this one, was called the emotions this one was the emotion the first one was your mouth the second one was your body and right now i'm talking about your emotions listen emotions is probably i would say tied for first on this list because not only you would say some people would say mouth some people say body but your emotions oftentimes will control what you eat if you don't monitor yourself. Have you ever heard of the saying, oh, a person say, I'm an emotional eater. When I'm sad, I eat. When I'm happy, I eat. When I'm depressed, I eat. And there are certain foods that you eat that cause depression. That's a whole nother message. However, your emotions, if you don't know how to control them, and pull them under subjection can lead you to do things that you will regret in the future. How many people have gotten into fights? How many people have gotten into arguments? How many people are in prison right now? How many people are dead right now? How many people are about to commit a crime right now because they cannot control their emotions? Right? I'm not saying that people are not going to do things to you that's going to wrong you. I'm not going to say that people are not going to say things about you. That's going to make you upset and make you want to smack the taste out their mouth. But that's not godly. And furthermore, by you getting angry so quickly, you're not able to think. And if you can't think, then you can't hear God telling you, stay calm, be at peace, turn the other cheek. It's not worth it. Because guess what? It could be your first offense. I was doing research on this the other day and how some people... Who, are, who have committed nonviolent crimes are now ser serving life in prison. And they didn't commit a violent crime in certain states. They may have not had any money because of whatever reason, went to the store, stole something, got caught, and the judge sent them to jail for life. All because, guess what? Emotionally, their emotion took them over. See, how many how many times you you see people fighting and arguing? And, and it escalates from here to here to here and to here. Because once your emotions get, get running, you're not in control of yourself anymore. You're not in control of the next move you're gonna make. Have you ever heard or have you seen or have you ever experienced a blackout moment? I have I have had many of those in my past blackout moments where I just get so enraged where I don't know what I'm doing I don't know why I'm doing it I just know that I'm about to knock somebody's head off and that's not the, the good place to be in because how many people have committed murder being in that state of mind how many people have cheated on their wives or their husbands because they were emotionally full filled up but they just felt like they couldn't take it anymore the Bible says, cast all your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. So that means when you're feeling like that, take that time out to pray. Take that time out to call on Jesus. Take that time out to ask for help. Take that time out to get to a quiet place where you can hear God talk to you. Take that time out where you can meditate and get your peace back, right? Because that one mistake, that one decision could affect your entire life. That one mistake, that one decision 
could affect your eternity. Right? You understand what I'm saying? So don't let your emotions take you to a place that you had never intended to go to. Don't ever let a person push you and cause you, cause you to be emotionally bankrupt and so upset and so angry that you do something that you will regret for years to come. Your life is too valuable. You matter too much to God and you have too much and you matter too much to other people. Right? So don't let the devil push you. Don't let other people push you into doing something that you know you're going to regret later on. Right? I hope this message encouraged somebody. And I want to tell you this. If you can master your emotions, then you're going to master your life. Because your emotions will often dictate whether you continue to trust God, whether you continue to go for it with your business, or will you stop? Will you continue to tithe and give offering, even when it looks like things is running dry? Or will you continue to do it? Will you continue to stay in your relationship, even though things are a little rocky, right? And you're working through it, or you just throw in the towel and say, I don't need to deal with this. I don't need to live like this. Or you're going to work through it. You're going to take your emotions by the horns and lock them in and force your emotions to do what it is that you want it to do. Let me tell you something. This is not something that's easy. It could be possibly one of the hardest things to do in life. But most people don't train themselves to master their emotions. They don't train themselves to be the master of it. They let their emotions dictate to them how they should act. That's why when you're having a conversation with someone or have you seen people in conversations and they're having a conversation and one person disagrees with what is being said and so next thing you know profanity starts to come out or the conversation starts to get very loud and vulgar because that person still is still immature mentally of how to master how to master that emotion have you ever seen little children or a child when they don't get their way what do they do they start to cry ah, start to cry ah. even when they can start to speak as they get older three four five six seven eight nine what do they do they act the same way that they acted when they were younger because they did not master their emotions yet and they also see that when they did that they were able to get their way well, a lot of adults are the same way. They cry, they yell, they curse, they scream, hoping that they'll get their way because they haven't learned to stay calm. They haven't learned to master their emotions and not let other people dictate to them how they should and shouldn't act. Let me give you a story as I get ready to close out. I remember my first job when I first moved into the area where I live. and. My wife and I had a goal to purchase the home we were renting at the time. And for some reason, a co-worker stole money at the store. And somehow they blamed it on me, even though they had cameras in the store. So when I sat down with the uh, district manager, he starts yelling at me, you know, because he was immature emotionally, yelling at me. I know that you took the money. You know, you're going to confess and blah, blah, blah. And he's cursing at me. He's yelling at me. On the inside, I wanted to re retaliate. On the inside, I wanted to scream back. But my mind said to me, stay calm. Do not respond the same way. Because I learned a long time ago, two fires only make a bigger fire. You're going to need water to put out that fire. You're going to have to stay peaceful when a person is talking reckless like that. Right? A soft word always um, stops a quarrel, a dispute. So anyway, he's talking, he's talking, he's talking. I said, excuse me, sir. Is there any reason why you have to curse and yell at me when I'm just talking to you? That immediately calmed him down. He stopped cursing because he knew that he was wrong. But if I would have acted the same way, not only would I have, he would have yelled at me, he would have fired me on the spot because that's what he wanted to do. And then two would have messed up my plan of purchasing a home for my wife and my newborn daughter. And but because I didn't give in to him and I kept my emotions in check, not only did I get reinstated, I was there long enough that I was able to purchase a new home and then leave that place with a clean slate. Not on my record. 
right? I give all glory to God for that. So don't let anyone stop you from achieving your goals and your dreams, right? Because when God is on your side, no one can stop you. Hold your peace and master your emotions. Until next time, be blessed.